Hi everybody, Josh here again from Windy Me. So now that we got the generator and the yaw mount on top of the tower, the next thing we need to do is tighten the nut on the strain relief to strain relief these wires and keep water out of the uh, yaw mount. To do that, all you need to do is make sure you grab all three of the slip ring wires coming through the yaw mount, pull on them until you feel tension. You don't need to pull hard, just hard enough to make tension in these wires. And while pulling on all three wires, just tighten down the nut on the strain relief. You don't need to use a wrench. Just tighten it down really firmly with your fingers until you can't turn anymore with your fingers. And what that does is keeps the wires inside of the yaw mount straight and taut so they're not going to rub on any inside parts of the yaw mount. And it also makes a watertight connection on these wires, keeps water out of the slip ring and protects everything against corrosion. So now that we've got these wires, three wires, three wires coming out of the generator, all we need to do is use the butt connectors and some shrink tubing to make the connection. Now we include the three butt connectors here with the uh, wind turbine kit and we pre-cut three pieces of shrink tubing. So all we need to do is, we're not actually going to do it here, most people know how to make an electrical connection, put the butt connector on each side, don't forget to slide a piece of shrink tubing on one end. And once the shrink tubing is on, go ahead and make the connection by crimping both sides. At this point, you don't want to make any mistakes in making this electrical connection. And if you do, you sure want to find out before you put the tower up. Put the wind turbine up on the tower up in the air. So it would be a good idea after you crimp this connection to use any standard voltmeter and make contact with each wire on each side and test for continuity and resistance. And this, if you have good continuity and very low resistance, it means you did a good job connecting these wires together. And if you didn't, you should probably take it apart and do it again. After you've made the connection, put the shrink tubing on and shrink it down. And then just repeat the step for the other two slip ring wires, the other two butt connectors, and make sure you test those also with a voltmeter because you don't want to make any mistakes and you sure don't want to find out about them after your turbine is 50 feet in there.